Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Wild Card Wednesday today, and we do have team standouts as the Wild Card Wednesday topic. Now, they're not going to be in game exactly at 1030. Just want to clear that now before people start looking for them. They are delayed, which I don't know how they're delayed on something they've been prepping. But since they are delayed, we are going to have to be seeing them in game later. I do have all the screenshots. It's not really going to change anything. But regardless, they won't be in game at this instance. But just to read through the updates and reminders. Uh, weekend League is targeted, the monthly is targeted for Thursday, December 10th, around 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So, because of the holidays, we won't be having Team of the Week or Team Standouts. The, oh, no, sorry. We won't be having Team of the Week or Wildcard Wednesday beyond today for the rest of the holidays. So, that's not next week, the week after. We won't be seeing it. I believe Team of the Week won't come back to January 12th, which is pretty much just Team of the Year. Uh, team of the Year collectibles, which, like I said here, will be pushed weeks 4th through 17th through uh, January. You'll still be able to earn Team of the Week collectibles through the final content release if you need them. Team standouts will not be coming out at 10.30. And then collectibles, they're just investigating collectibles and any quick sell values. So scan to the players. we got Tim Patrick. Remember, there's 32 players, so I'm not going to read their stats entirely here. But Tim Patrick, good speed, great catching, decent route running. You put a cam and you power him up, it'll be pretty good, actually. Brennan Scarlett, too slow to play linebacker. Uh, good block shit, though. And, I mean, he could be a decent run stuffer. we got Brandon Williams, great block shed, low pass rush. As a pure block shedder, you probably don't need that on your team at this point. Cole Beasley. Decent speed for a Beasley card. He's not bad. You put Go Deep on him, you max that out. He gets all the route running thresholds. He's a decent receiver. Cordell Patterson, not bad because he will get 93 speed powered up. And he'll have 90 spec catch powered up. And then 90 go um, deep route running powered up and chemmed up. Dre Greenlaw for the Niners. He does get good play rec. He has a low block shed, low pass rush. He seems like a well-rounded tackler, but that's about it. Damon Harris, way too slow with 88 speed. Wouldn't recommend. Danny Shelton, 92 block shed, which is great, but he does have 81 power move and he's 59 speed, so he's not really that usable. Dalvin Tomlinson for the New York Giants, 91 block shed, really bad pass rush. Again, pure block shedding and defensive tackles are needed when we have ones that can do both. Eric Wilson, outside linebacker, he can block shed, can't pass rush again. Again, just like a well rounded tackling, run stuffing linebacker. Frank Clark for the Chiefs, he's got 83 speed, 91 power move, 85 block shed. Again, decent. Super athletic, could be a good budget pass rusher, but that's about it. For uh, for say to Luakon, 90 speed, really great as like maybe a user if you guys need a user. 90 90 play rank, 85 blocks, could be a good user that could stop the run in the box. What I wouldn't say he should replace you know maybe a safety, but if you have a space in there and you don't have a safety there, could be decent. Hunter Henry, 85 speed. Honestly, Hunter Henry's not bad. You power him up and cap him up with play fake. You will have all the route running thresholds and 86 speed and all 90 catching and 80 run blocking. Could be one of the best roll around the tight ends in the game. Jared Goff, good throw power. Not not good enough accuracy because he's not going to get both deep and medium um, of threshold, so that's really not that great there. Probably avoiding Jared Goff. Jordan Hicks, a little on the slower side, but powered up and came up. He has 88 speed, 90 hit power, 90, 84 zone, but he won't get to 90 zone, so that does hurt him. James Robinson, finally a James Robinson card. He has needed a card literally all year, and he hasn't gotten even one. He has 89 speed. Well, I believe he hasn't gotten one. Could be blanking there. He'll have 90 speed powered up. He'll have 92 cal excel. He will get above 90 break tackle. He can be a very well-rounded back. Looks about as good as the um, Derrick Henry, which is sad because Derrick Henry should have a really good card this year. Kevin Bayard. Great zone. Decent man. Decent hit power. Decent speed. Very well-rounded safety. Nothing more. Logan Thomas. Tight end for the Redskins. Now the route running is going to be too low. 88 speed's good. 90 catch is going to be good, but the route running is too low. Mo Ali Cox is actually a really good tight end. Now, if you remember, Mo Ali Cox is like six foot eight, so you're getting some insane tight end height. Now, if you kept him up and power him up, play fake, he will have the route running thresholds 90 90. He'll have pretty, I think he'll have catching traffic above 90. He'll have all the catching thresholds, all the route running thresholds, and 87 speed. So that's really good as well. Marcus Davenport, he's really good. If you power up and kept him up with a pass rush, he'll have 99 power move. He'll have above 90 block shed, above 90 play rec, and he'll have an 87 speed, 90 XL. He is really, really good for a lot of teams. Marquez Valdez, Scantling, nothing too crazy there. He's going to be able to get, um, he he will get the route running threshold, I believe, and maybe all the catching thresholds besides spec catch with a 93 speed. He's not he's not bad, but there's just a lot of options like that. Nick uh, Kuiwitoski, however you say his name, middle uh, outside linebacker. He's a run stuffer again, can't pass rush, can't do too much. Decent. Quadri Diggs. Great zone, and man, he will get 90 zone, 90 man, and 90 hit power with a 91 speed. It's decent. 
Sheldon Richardson, he will get 90 block shed, 90 power move, as well as decent athleticism. So it's going to be overall decent card. It's a fun to it. Again, above 90 power move, above 90 block shed, above 90 play rec. Decent athleticism, decent card. Teddy Bridgewater, decent throw power, actually. This is surprisingly, that's actually good throw power. Um, the accuracy is good enough because you would go deep and powered up. You will have all the accuracy thresholds. You'll have 82 speed, and you'll end up getting, I believe, a 98 throw power. So this card is actually pretty good. Trevon Diggs for the Dallas Cowboys. He will end up having 90 play rec, 90 man, 90 zone, and 90 press. 92 speed, good corner. Travis Fulgham, too slow to be a wide receiver off the rip. He will get all the route running and catching thresholds, but only 91 speed. T. Higgins, again, too slow, only have a 90 speed, but he will get, he'll only get one route running threshold beyond short, but the catching is good. So moving on, guys, those are the players. Now we do have some of the missions. So complete the team standout challenges to earn a 92 overall team standout player to add to your team. So you do get a free 92 overall team standout. So that's good. All you got to do is play the solos. You know the deal with this already. But that's pretty cool because, again, you got a free one last time, which a lot of people want, like Metcalf. This time there's some pretty decent options there. Now, again, you guys heard my opinions. There were some that were pretty great there. Decent, good. I mean, I guess it depends on your team. If you're like a more... If you're a no money spend squad, it's going to be different versus if you're a god squad, you want to go with the best available player. If you're no money spend, you want to go with the best available position to fill a hole in your team. But um, you go play through the highlighted moment from each team standout player. Complete all 32 challenges to earn your choice of a 92 overall standout player to add to your team. And that, of course, you can't trade or auction them, but you know the deal with that. Then we got the solos here. It's, it's simple. Score three rushing touchdowns. Return a kick for 50 yards. That could take a little bit, but again, it's not, it's not horrible, especially if you just come out in defense and hit stick right away. Because you're going to be able to force an instant fumble, more than likely. Here's the uh, set team affinity. You guys, that's in there. You go here. It's series three, 32 sets, 92 overall players, and then this is going to be the final, which is the set you have to do, which is right here. So Cordell Patterson. So you got to exchange team league players. So 86 to 89, you're going to need five of these. 82 to 85, I believe. You need five of these, and 78 to 81, you're going to need a lot of these as well. And it keeps on going. So you guys know the deal. You need 20 total pieces. That's 5, 10, 15, and I imagine the other ones are probably just lower, lower team of the weeks. Maybe base golds. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of the video. If you guys need coins, pick up any of these new team standouts. Head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle, 15% off. Take advantage. we got the holiday discounts going on. Way better than buying packs. Just pick those up instead. Pick up a few of these guys for pretty cheap. So for today's shout-out, which I did actually miss in the beginning of the video, we have, let's see, we have Warren Allen. Shout-out to Warren Allen for being a part of the Poodle squad. Thank you so much for showing support on each and every video. If you guys do want a chance to be shouted out, comment down below. Uh, Poodle Squad, like the video, and of course, turn on that noti bell, and of course, subscribe as well. Uh, keep it up, and you guys will have a chance to be shout out in the next video. Now, these team standouts will not be dropping until later, so again, don't check the game. I mean, they could be out already, but for the most part, they did say later today. You never know. It could be it could be in an hour. It could be in 20 minutes. It could be now. It also could be 8 p.m., so I, I wouldn't hold your breath. Not like these are things that are so crazy that you have to be in-game ready for. It's kind of like on your free time, play the solo, so don't go crazy about that. When it comes out, it comes out. You don't really have to stress over that, but... Exciting stuff nonetheless. Go collect your 92. And then tomorrow we have the LTDs. And then hopefully we have Zero Show drop in Friday. Or at least a special stream by Friday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. Um, yeah, that's about it. In terms of team standouts and rankings. I won't be making that video probably. But if you guys need anything comment down below. I'll let you know who I would prefer to pick. That's about it. I'm out.